Hey everyone, this is Grim Chorizo here, and this is Ringside Predictions, where I give you my predictions for upcoming WWE pay-per-views. It's been a few months since I've done one, but Royal Rumble is one of my favorites. I definitely wanted to get back into it and give you my predictions for that, as well as NXT TakeOver Phoenix. So let's get started. Matt Riddle vs. Cassius Ono. Matt Riddle's only been here a little bit, and I feel like the only person he's really wrestled is Cassius Ono. Uh, he probably has had other matches, I just haven't seen them on NXT, but... Yeah, I think Matt Riddle's going to win again here. I don't really see Ono getting a win. His role is basically kind of gatekeeper of NXT, basically doing what he's going to do here, put over new talent. So I think that Matt Riddle will win. NXT Tag Team Titles, The Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong versus The War Raiders. Uh, Undisputed Era have had, in my opinion, probably the best reign as NXT Tag Team Champions ever. Uh, but I think they're going to lose them here to the War Raiders. War Raiders are amazing. They're just two badass big powerhouses who are very quick and athletic, uh, and the moves they do, I just I love their style. I love their look, so I'm totally on board with them, and I love the Undisputed Era as well, but I think it's time to pass the titles on, and I think that'll happen here at NXT TakeOver Phoenix. NXT North American title, Ricochet versus Johnny Gargano. I'm going back and forth on this one, uh, but I'm going to go with what I thought first, which is Johnny Gargano winning. Uh, I think he's going to win here because uh, he's got this kind of dark side turn going on, and it just makes sense that he would win the title here, and uh, later on, as I'm going to mention, I mean, spoiler alert, I think Ciampa's going to retain as well. I think them both having titles and kind of teaming up again, I think is what we're going to see. The other route is that Ricochet wins and Gargano goes on to feud with Champa again for the title, turning back into you know a face. I could see that happening as well, but I'm going to go with Gargano winning here and him and Champa kind of being dual champions. NXT Women's Championship, Shayna Baszler versus Bianca Belair. This one should be interesting because I like Bianca Belair. I like Shayna Baszler, but uh, Bianca hasn't really... She hasn't gotten to have a big, high-profile match yet, which is why this is so interesting and awesome, because it gives her the chance to have that. Uh, but it also ha gives a lot of pressure, you know? Is she going to live up to the past NXT TakeOver matches? You know, there have been incredible women's matches. Pretty much all of them have been amazing. Uh, are they going to live up? Shayna and Belair, I think that, you know, it's going to be a good match, but we're just going to have to see. I think Shayna Baszler is going to retain... Uh, thanks to the help of her friends, her four horsewomen buddies. And the NXT Championship, Tommaso Ciampa versus Aleister Black. I think Ciampa's going to retain here. And I gotta say, Ciampa's been one, uh, he's really grown on me. His, his in-ring style is just great. Uh, at first, when he was really, really hyped up over this past year when he, when he returned, won the title. Don't get me wrong, I liked him. But he wasn't, like, as amazing to me as I felt like he was to other people. But lately, he's he's really grown on me. And Aleister Black is obviously one of my top favorites of NXT. So two of my favorites going at it here for the title. But I think Ciampa retains. Like I mentioned before, I think him and Gargano will hold the, the two titles, North American title and uh, NXT title, and kind of be a team again. See, I'm looking forward to NXT TakeOver Phoenix. They never let me down. There has not been one TakeOver that has let me down. So I'm super stoked for it. But let's move on to the Royal Rumble. Fatal 4-Way match for the Cruiserweight Championship. Buddy Murphy vs. Kalisto vs. Akira Tozawa vs. Hideo Itami. Okay, now I've got to be honest. I haven't watched 205 Live probably since last summer or before. It's just there's so, there's so much wrestling. And I just haven't, haven't made a good enough effort to watch it. Um, so I don't know any of the story going into this. I know that all four guys are amazing. Buddy Murphy is incredible. Hideo Itami was one of my favorites back in NXT, but he's really fallen. Kalisto, obviously, I've seen for years, and he's great. And Akira Tozawa, what I've seen of him, is good as well. So this match is going to be great. Um, but as a prediction, I can't really go in knowing kind of the stories and who's been built up. And, you know, I don't even know who's face and heel in this. I think Buddy Murphy's heel, Tozawa's face... Hideo Itami is heel, and Kalisto's face. Uh, but anyways, my prediction is I think Hideo Itami is going to win it here. That's knowing no prior build-up to this, really. But I just feel like 
I guess I'm just picking a name out of a hat, but Hideo really deserves a title. He kind of got screwed out of being injured from being injured so many times in the past. You know, I thought he was going to win the NXT title a few times. Just didn't happen. Uh, so now's a chance he could win the Cruiserweight title. Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the U.S. title. I don't have too much to say about this because WWE has not had too much to say about it. The build has been nothing. There has been no build. Rusev won the title on Christmas or New Year's or whichever, I don't remember. Um, and then Nakamura, I think, made Rusev like accidentally hit Lana or Lana fell down. And that was it. Rusev and Nakamura haven't even been on SmackDown for the past few weeks. So this match has no build up. I think Rusev retains. The Bar versus The Miz and Shane McMahon. I'm not super on board with this storyline. I think it's obviously just leading up to a Miz versus Shane McMahon one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania. Um, I mean, I guess it gives them something to do. It's been kind of entertaining, but it's not my favorite story going on. That said, I think Miz and Shane are going to win the titles here and, like I said, drop them before WrestleMania and then have a singles match at WrestleMania. SmackDown women's title. This is one that is interesting, because going into this, I did not think Becky would be competing for the title at the Royal Rumble. I thought she'd be in the Rumble match itself, setting up a match with Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania. I still think that's where they're going. I think they're going to give us a triple threat, Ronda, Charlotte, and uh, Becky. But how do we get there? That's the interesting part, because this is the night where it kind of sets all that up. I thought it was going to be like Carmella or Naomi or... Uh, something versus Asuka, and Asuka would retain there. So I do think Asuka's going to retain. Um, but that said, if we're going to have Ronda versus Becky versus Charlotte, or Ronda versus Charlotte, or Ronda versus Becky, somebody has to win the Rumble, somebody has to keep their title, and somebody has to lose their title match. So, you know, I'll just move into my next prediction. Ronda versus Sasha Banks. I think Ronda retains, but I'm really happy Sasha's getting that chance. I think the match should be really good. I do want to, you know, did want to touch on that match as well, but these kind of go hand in hand because I think Asuka retains, I think Ronda retains, which means I think that Becky, Charlotte, and Ronda's match at WrestleMania will be for the Raw Women's title. But how do we get there? That's the interesting point. Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles for the WWE title. I cannot say enough good about Daniel Bryan's heel turn. He has been on fire, just in the ring, so good. Promos, incredible. I love the character. And he's the WWE champion. It almost doesn't feel real that he is the WWE champion, but he has been for two months or whatever. And I think that's amazing. I think he's going to retain here. I'd like to see him bring in a new belt that's not leather, you know, get him like a natural belt to go along with the character that he's going with here. Uh, but this match should be great. I mean, look who's in it. But I think this probably needs to wrap up AJ and Brian because they've been wrestling for a few months and don't want it to get stale. Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. It was originally going to be Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. Now it's Brock versus Finn, which I'm more excited for. Uh, but I don't think Finn has any chance, which is really sad. I want to say Finn. I'm over Lesnar as champ. You know, if he's going to be around, whatever. Have him do, you know, one-on-one -on -one matches with, with certain people. But it does not need to be for the title. He does not need to be holding that title hostage anymore. So I'd love Finn to win. I just hope that we get a good match here and that it's back and forth, or at least Finn gets in offense and it's not a complete squash. But yeah, I gotta go with Lesnar. And now the Royal Rumble matches. These are always kind of hard to predict because so many people can be in them and you never know if they're gonna do a swerve. But here we go, the Women's Royal Rumble. I'm gonna predict Charlotte Flair because she's in it, Becky is not, and I think we're gonna have Becky versus Charlotte versus Ronda for the title, the Raw title, at WrestleMania. So, like I was saying before, how do we get there? I guess Charlotte wins the... My original prediction before Becky was going to fight for the title was Charlotte and Becky are both in the Rumble, and they eliminate each other at the same time, being like co-winners or whatever, and it sets up a triple threat for WrestleMania. That could still happen if Becky enters the Rumble after winning or losing her title match. But I don't like when they do that. If you're competing for the world title at the Royal Rumble... That's your shot. I don't really think you should enter again. I mean, look back a few years ago. Roman Reigns fought for the Universal title and lost. Then he entered at number 30 in the Royal Rumble, and everyone booed so loud and was so upset and disappointed, me included. I was so upset that Reigns was taking that spot when he just had a, a world title match. It's kind of the same thing with Becky, even though you know people love her and I love her, and she's 
the man and she's the best. Uh, I'd love to see her in the Rumble, but it's kind of, uh, you know, I'd be a hypocrite if I said that that was okay and it wasn't when Reigns did it. So I don't think Becky should be in the Rumble. I mean, I'll still kind of mark out if she is and then wins, but, you know, I guess I'm just going by my principle of if you're fighting for the world title at the Rumble, that's your shot. Unless you are a heel and, you know, you knock someone out and take their take their number and it sets up a story, that's one thing. But if you're just entering, you know, I just think it's kind of lame. So I'm going to go with Charlotte Flair. I guess if I had to pick a second pick, I'd go kind of with like a wild card pick. I'd go with Ember Moon. You know, I think it would be great for her. She's amazing. They feel like feel like she hasn't really gotten that push that she deserves, but they've kind of been, you know, keeping her strong for the most part. So she would be kind of a wild card pick, but my safe bet is Charlotte Flair. As far as surprises, I'm not going to go too crazy here because you never know. I mean, I'd love to see legends like Victoria, um, Molly Holly, Trish, Lita, and there's a good chance we'll see some of that, but we had so many of them last year. I think they're going to try to keep it down to a minimum this year, but I think we will get a few NXT girls. I'm going to say Shayna Baszler. I mean, last year they had Ember Moon, who was the NXT Women's Champion. I think Shayna Baszler will be NXT Women's Champion at the Rumble, so I think she will appear in it as well. I think Kyrie Sane, who was a surprise last year, I think she'll be in it. So those are a few surprise ideas, and I'm sure they'll have, you know, three or four or five or whatever surprises, however many spots are left. And the Men's Royal Rumble, also kind of hard to predict. My prediction is Seth Rollins. I feel like that's a lot of people's picks, which is why I'm worried they're going to not go with it. I feel like Seth is the one that makes the most sense. His 2018, he was the the guy. He was the most over. He was having the best matches. Um, I feel like he deserves it. I feel like it makes sense. He was a tag team champion, intercontinental champion through that year, having, like I said, some of the best matches. And it just makes sense. Now, this year, win the Rumble, main event WrestleMania, win the Universal title. It's the it's the progression. You know, he is loved by everyone. He's he's a top face who is over, and the crowd actually likes him and wants to cheer him. Take advantage of that. You know, it's not split. People people love the guy. He's got great, he puts on great matches. He's got, a you know, a good uh, fan base, good, I was going to say good character. He doesn't really have so much of a character, but he's got, what he has is good. He's got good booking. He's got, he's over. That's the most impor- important thing. And, People want to see him win, so I say go for it. My worry is that Braun Strowman, who I do like, is going to enter and win it, which would be lame because they were already going to have Braun versus Brock at the Rumble anyway, so why didn't they just do it then? Anyways, as much as I do like Braun, I don't want him to enter and win the Rumble as a surprise or whatever. I'd much rather Rollins win. But as a second pick, I guess I'd go Drew McIntyre. It's just if we're going to have Drew McIntyre as, you know, he's this big heel versus Brock Lesnar, who's this big heel, it's kind of an odd dynamic. But maybe McIntyre would turn face. I don't know. And I would be totally cool with Drew McIntyre winning because he's one of my favorites as well. But I'm going to pick Seth Rollins. As far as surprises, I mean, Legends, it's so hard to tell because there's so many people. I have no idea. As far as NXT guys, I think Velveteen Dream would be a perfect choice, and I think there's a high chance we could see him. You know, he's not a comedy guy, but he can do comedy spots, uh, and he can he can go in the ring. He, he could be a guy who goes in there and lasts for 20 minutes or whatever, gets a few eliminations, and looks really good. As another one, might be a long shot, but Aleister Black, not as a full-on call-up. I, I don't see either of these guys as full-on call-ups, just kind of like exhibition things. I think Aleister Black and... Uh, Velveteen Dream would be two great picks as NXT guys for the Rumble. But my picks for the Rumble, men's, Seth Rollins, women's, Charlotte Flair. So yeah, those are my predictions for NXT TakeOver Phoenix and the Royal Rumble. Uh, Sorry it had been a while since I'd done these prediction videos. Just, you know, was busy and hadn't been watching as intently as I had been. But I'm stoked for the Rumble, so I knew I wanted to do one for this. I can't say I'll do one for every single pay-per-view, but we'll see. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy this weekend of wrestling. See you guys later.